Hey guys, it's DT back with one final video before the end of 2020. I wasn't sure I was gonna get one more in, but this big box just arrived today, so I thought I'd better hurry up and get one final unboxing in before the end of the year. I just unboxed the XM Studios Megatron that I got for Christmas. I might be able to get that out before the end of the year on our other channel, EvanTubeHD. So if you're not subscribed over there, make sure to do that. So today we're gonna be looking at the brand new XM Studios Dr. Octopus. So in 2021, I am going to be doing a lot of Spider-Man stuff, uh, both comic book and statue wise. So if you guys are fans of Spider-Man, you're going to want to make sure to tune in and check that out. Anyway, let's get on to this unboxing. So we also get an art print with this one. Check it out. And here it is. Very nice print. We also get the card with the content, which I am about to show you. And then we have a QR code to the assembly video. So Dr. Octopus, AKA Otto Octavius, AKA Doc Ock, first appeared in the pages of The Amazing Spider-Man number three, way back in July of 1963. Here we have a CGC copy in a 5.0, maybe a mouse chewed on the corners a little bit. It's got a little tear there in the back, but overall presents pretty nicely in the collection. I might be looking to upgrade this book in the future, but my problem always is, once I get a book in higher condition, I don't sell the other one, so <laughs> I wind up with multiple copies, which in, in this case isn't a bad thing, but it's probably not the wisest financial decision. Here's the nice black XM Studios box. Mine came with this very lovely dent in it. They make these boxes pretty bulletproof, so I'm not too worried. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this open. Here we have some info on Doc Ock on the side of the box. Pretty sure this is a multi-layered box. So let's check out the top layer. Okay, and here's what we get. Let's take a look at this body here. So this thing looks fantastic. Some really nice textures on his costume and his coat. A couple different shades of green in there. Some nice shading. Got these nice boots with a weathered leather appearance. Nice detail on the straps and buckles. Got different textures in his legs. Nice leathery pouches. Got these really cool gloves. What I really love about this is the coat. We get a really good sense of movement and the way this thing is flowing. This is all sculpted too. No fabric in here. When you can create something like this sculpted, I really don't see the point in fabric. Here I am saying that when my last video was about a fabric cape. <laughs> Look at the detail there in the back. We've got the tentacles coming out of his jacket. Crazy detail there. Pretty amazing. So we've got this giant square rod coming out of his back. And I'm guessing that's where he's going to attach. He's actually suspended. He's not standing on anything in this statue. He's actually kind of a... Uh, crawling up the side of a building with his tentacles. So far, very impressed. Then we have two different portraits. Here's the more classic portrait with the red goggles and the bowl cut. This is how he appeared in the old days. He's got this strap going around the back which accentuates his bowl cut even more. Nice shiny white teeth. This is a more modern look. He's got the big blue goggles. He's got more of a smile on this head sculpt. And then his hair is brushed forward. Sort of looks like Evan's haircut these days. It's a little bit messy, kind of down in your face. We'll have to see how that looks. And then his strap, it looks sort of like an elastic waistband. It goes over his ears. Sort of reminds me of my snowboard goggles. I'm kind of leaning towards the Mo from the Three Stooges look. Good to have options. And then we get this little sack of money. We've got a slit in the bottom where all these gold coins are falling out. We got the dollar symbol on each one. And the bag's got this nice burlap texture and it's being held by this claw. We've got a big key here that's gonna key into one of the big tentacles. Over here, we have a piece of broken glass, or this is a plexiglass. Kinda got this nice dirt effect. We've got a couple more claws. And then we have this bag of coins. So I guess you just kinda scatter these on the ground. That's pretty much the top layer. Let's go ahead and see what's underneath. Okay, and here's what you get on the bottom. We've got a bunch of different tentacles, and we have this huge, very heavy base. 
I think I'm gonna get that out last. It is very heavy. Here's a bunch of tentacles, very large and detailed. Great paint on there. Not only do we have the silver metallic paint, but we also have some browns in there to kind of give it a weathered, dirty, rusty appearance. It's really those subtle details that make a piece. So we've got four of these uh, coil tentacles. They're all the same in design. Each one is positioned a little bit differently. This one's got a really crazy bend to it. I think one goes through a window. This one has the claw attached and it's actually holding Peter Parker's camera. And then finally, we have the bank, uh, or at least the corner of the bank. Let's see if I can get this out here to show you guys. But, whoa, it is heavy. I don't know if this is supposed to be the sidewalk or maybe a ledge. It looks more like a ledge. And we've got some brick on the side, some more ornamental building details. And we even have the inside of the building. Sort of reminds me of the sideshow Spider-Man maquette that I did a video on where you get to see the inside of the building. That one's not a very heavy piece, so I'm gonna go grab that. And at the end of the video, I'll put them side by side. And you guys can see how it looks together. Here's a quick look at the base. I can't really hold this thing up much longer. So let's get this over to the table and put it together. Okay guys, and here he is, XM Studios, Dr. Octopus. The highlights on this piece for me include these super dynamic tentacles. They really look like they're alive. They kind of have a mind of their own. Every one of them is doing something. We've got one holding the bag of money. One's breaking off the piece of the roof. Another one is taking pictures and the other one's destroying the side of the building. They've got Doc Ock suspended above the ground. I love the details of this coat and how it's flowing in the wind. We've got buckles flying all over the place. It's really giving him a sense of motion. I love how this one tentacle is actually going through the window. I consider this more of a background than a base. Of course, we have the base to support the wall. We've got these well-defined bricks. We've got this nice cross section where we can see the insides. Things are well textured. I don't know if Doc Ock is supposed to be coming through this window, but if he is, uh, I'm not really sure how he could fit. It is pretty narrow, but nice effect they have going on there. The rest of the bank is pretty detailed as well. We have a lot of these little ornamental designs some nicely sculpted molding. And the bank sign is actually pretty cool as well, although you can't really see it because Doc Ock is blocking it. So my preference for the heads is the classic bowl cut. That's how I remember Doc Ock when he was first introduced to me. Very classic look. I love those goggles as well. Very buggy, very octopus looking. The new sculpt isn't bad, but I prefer that grimacing face rather than this sinister grin he's got with the other one. Everything fit together pretty nicely. The tentacles were a nice tight fit. It did take some effort to kind of get them in, but I'd rather them be a little bit tight than too loose uh, since they are kind of just hanging on by the magnet. Doc Ock is pretty much all one piece other than his head, so there aren't many seams. To nitpick on mine, the seam on the neck is a little bit bigger than I would have liked it, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. But on the newer portrait, the seam is pretty much invisible. Okay, and as promised, here is the Spider-Man comicette, and I think these two look awesome together. It's sort of like Doc Ock is over here robbing the bank, and Spider-Man is across the street ready to capture him. We've got very neutral bases on both, and the colors on these two just kind of pop right out at you. And now I am pleased to say that I can put my favorite Spider-Man statue next to my favorite Dr. Octopus statue. Okay guys, so that was a look at XM Studios' new Dr. Octopus. Fantastic statue, really glad to have him in the collection. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. 
Thanks for watching. Have a happy new year, and we'll see you all in 2021. Bye-bye.